Hello everyone. Welcome to Rec at Home Basketball Drills. It's great to see you all again. Thanks for the overwhelming support in last week's videos and the previous ones we've done. I'd like to give a shout out to Room Classroom 208 at Forest Home Elementary Avenue School for doing their thing in math and their teacher, Mr. Bush. I also would like to recognize a very, very strong young man down in Alabama. His name is Braxton. Braxton is fighting a very tough disease. And my word to him is that the man upstairs gives you, gives you the toughest task. And if he's giving you the toughest task, that you're a soldier that can fight through it. So, without any further ado, we have to start getting our games ready for the indoors because outdoors is letting you know is where you have to get inside to play. Fall is here, winter is approaching, basketball season is near. We got some drills that's going to fine tune your game. So grab a partner, grab a basketball, grab whomever you like. But let's get to it. Let's get it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to stretch and touch our toes. And remember, when we're stretching, we're doing a count to ten. Now we're going right over left. And we're going to do a count to ten. Now left over right. Now we're getting our feet really wide, getting our base really wide so we can stretch our hips and our lower back. This is a floor touch exercise. Knee pull-ups. We want to pull our knees up as far as we can up to our chest. We're going to do each foot for 10 seconds. This is our standing quad stretch. We have our right ankle in a tucked position with our left arm out for balance. We're gonna do the same for the left foot too. And we're gonna do this for a count of 10 seconds. The hurdler stretch. While our right leg is in the tuck position and our left leg is out, we're stretching the quad in the right leg and the hamstring with the left leg out. We're gonna switch it. And now we have our left leg in the tuck position and our right leg out. Do this each leg for 10 seconds. This exercise is called the lumberjack. It's kind of like a plank with your legs moving. This will activate your core and help you to balance. We're doing two sets of 10 and you're pulling your knees up to your chest, getting those stomach muscles activated. Here's our speed ladder drills. 
with jumping over the cones which are placed in a speed ladder, riding through a stationary stick. And this is gonna help our core, our balance, and of course our stamina. Remember, this is part of our warm up. As the weather starts to decline, it's very important that you warm up your muscles accordingly. Now we're jumping in the square and out the square past the cone and the speed ladder drill. We're using agility. You need agility in any sport that you choose to participate in. Be able to jump on both feet and move to a side. That's a basketball move. Here's a new drill. We jump in and out of the square, cross over with the opposite hand, touch the cone, jump in and out of the square. We're gonna do this about five times. Our next drill is a misdirection drill. We have three cones, and in each cone, we're gonna make a misdirection dribble. When we get around to the third cone, we're gonna come up for a shot. Watch. The misdirection drill is a terrific drill. It does three things. It creates moves for a shot. Two, it helps shooting off ball screens. And three, it keeps your defender off balance. As you get comfortable with the drill, move over to various sides of the floor. Add something to your dribbling routine, between the legs, behind the back, quicker dribbles. But this misdirection drill, once again, is a terrific drill. It's a conditioner too. You should be able to get some really good quality shots up out of this drill. Remember to always get some form shooting into your workout. You don't want to shoot like this guy in the lower right hand corner. Always maintain your consistency by practicing your fundamentals. Develop a routine and stick with that routine. Form shooting works on your form. Even when you think you've had enough shots up, you can never get enough practice in practicing your form to shoot the basketball correctly.
conditioning. You must maintain a level of conditioning. The season is about to start. You got to stay in shape. What Coach has here is a four-pound vest. I'm going to put this on, and I want to do some conditioning. Some, some little running from cone to cone and some defensive slides is going to mess, uh, mix it up. So, but last week we indicated what using the weight ball in our ball handling drills that add a little weight to your workouts. It strengthens you, and it also increases your speed. So watch as I use the weight belt to do our conditioning drills today, which is some cardio work and just running from the cones. As we start our conditioning drills, coach is going around the cones. First one is a defensive slide. Now he slides this time to the second cone and then he backpedals. So we're gonna be alternating a slide and then the next time around, and we slide to the second cone, a back pedal. This is our conditioning today. We mix things up to create basketball situations so it'll be easier to play games when the time comes. To some ball handling. Now, coach has a heavy weight ball here. It's a heavy trainer. Now, usually when we use heavy trainers, we're trying to develop speed and strength. So, for intense purposes, if you can't find a heavier ball in the house or a heavier ball to work with, that is fine. The same thing occurs when you're dribbling with a regular basketball. Okay? So, you still want to develop accuracy, ability to handle the ball. You want to make the ball feel as if it's one with the body. It's a part of you. So, we're going to do some basic fundamental drills as we have always done. Coach is going to be working with the heavy ball. You guys can work with the same size or weighted ball fitted for your age, your size, your height, etc. Okay, so let's go. Let's do some ball snaps. Now fingertips. Back to ball snaps. Back to fingertips. I'll do it with the right hand. I'll do it with the left hand. Between the legs. Now we're going to go the other way. Now side to side catches. Ball up in the air and catch. Now crossover jump. Really get your shoulders into it. Keep your head up. Two 
dribble cross. Back to ball flash. Around the head. Around the waist. That's our ball handling. Remember, when you're doing ball handling fundamentals, drills, the ball is one with the body. Work your strong hand as well as your off hand. And if your off hand, your left hand, is your strong hand, then work on your off hand, it may be your right. Develop them both. It will be a key to handling and maneuvering through defenses that will be thrown at you in competition. For our last drill today, our challenge drill is going to consist of layups on one side and progression jump shots on the other side. What we have to do is we have to dribble to the basket, make three layups. After you make each consecutive layup, we're going to shoot a jump shot here, a jump shot here, a jump shot here. And then to end the drill, we have to hit a free throw. Watch. Remember, your challenge drill is all about fun, but challenges you to excel at the point from all the other drills that you learn from. Do your best. Don't worry about missing shots. Challenge yourself to exceed. boys and girls. Great workout, great practice. Remember, pick up the intensity of your workouts. Work even harder. It doesn't matter how long you work out, but the quality. The quality of your workouts. That's what we're looking for. Push yourself. Aim high. And your successes will be great. You gotta go through various drills that we've set forth in our class periods to really be aggressive, work harder at your craft. Not just on the basketball floor, but off the basketball floor as well. All right, class, 
that ends our session for this week. I am so happy of our progress because if you can't struggle, there will be no successes. Quick review. Today we used the speed ladder. We used a weighted ball. We used a weighted vest, a jump stand, cones, and of course a basketball. You guys have a terrific week this upcoming week. Be safe and be courteous to the people around you. Appreciate those who give you advice as well as wisdom. Work hard in the classroom, over your computer, or even if you're at school for a short amount of time, and also work hard at being very good in your home with your parents and your siblings. Once again, shout out to those who follow and continue to support. Be good. Love you guys. Until next time.